the first drug I ever used was marijuana. I smoked marijuana. I think a year after that, I had my first line of cat. I was using using socially for about three years. It wasn't irritating until I got to my trick, which was in the year 2010. I started using cat every day on a daily basis. And then it progressed and I started smoking duck, which is crystal meth. Okay. It was when I smoked crystal meth that I noticed that my life started spiraling out of control. I passed my matric though, and then I started at Fats University as an education student. I dropped out of varsity in 2011. Then I started doing a learnership at EPSA. I couldn't keep up with my job, like my using and my working just mm -hmm. didn't fit in together because my drug life consumed me like most of the time. And then I came into treatment in April 2012 and I spent three months here in treatment. Well, emotionally, when I, I always had a problem with self-esteem, it was like one of my biggest issues, mm -hmm. fighting into a crowd, always feeling less than. And with the drug that I used, like it's funny how, now to explain though, but it, mm. it always makes you, it makes you feel invincible, sort of. Mm. And then when I used that drug, it was okay to socialize, it was okay to fit in, everything else became a bit easier. And I think also when I realized that my using was so out of control, it was even easier to use to get away from the reality okay. that I have got a problem. Because using drugs, like I suppressed any emotion. Mm -hmm. The most difficult emotions for me to deal with was disappointment and anger. Whenever I was disappointed or angry, I used. But when I was happy, I used also. It mm -hmm. was a way of rewarding myself even. Okay. If ever you feel like, you've done, like I've done something good for myself, I would use to reward myself as well. I, like, I lost all control. I, I had physical fights with my family, mm. smashing things around the house because I couldn't get out to go and use. Mm -hmm. And also the fear of being caught out. That night they took me to Helen Joseph Hospital. Mm. At Helen Joseph I was admitted into the psychiatric ward there because I tried to attempt suicide mm. that Friday night. And then when they took my blood test at the hospital, that's when they saw that it was just drugs mm. in my system. After eight days, I got discharged and all my mother said to me was, I don't know where you're going to, but you're not coming back home. You need help. Mm -hmm. And then my mother called Sanka. She got an appointment for me the Tuesday. And then I came in for my assessment. And then a week later, I was in material. I'm positive about recovery. Mm -hmm. Although it's not easy. Mm -hmm. I have on days and I have off days. Mm -hmm. I still crave, like last week, I had a bit of a rough weekend. It, the thought still occurred to me that I know how to make myself feel better. Mm. So that's the scary part of it, that that is still a solution in my mind. Mm. But I know that I am in control until I pick up the first time. It's only after I pick up that I don't have control anymore. Mm. 